Welcome back to Stitching Big Things with Hallie. I'm Hallie. Thanks so much for joining me again today. Today is Friday, May 28th, 2021. I would like to welcome all returning viewers. Hi guys, so good to see you again. Thank you so much for spending your precious time uh, again with me here this week. And any new viewers, this is a channel about cross stitch. You're going to see uh, many, many big projects and some little projects. Um, uh, and hopefully you will find some inspiration uh, from the projects that I show. So I hope everybody's had a great week. Um, this is gonna be a really down and dirty quick video today. I, my family and I are headed out this afternoon for vacation and um, so I, I'm busy getting things packed, getting the house ready to uh, be vacated for a week. So um, quick and easy, get right to it, show you the stuff and uh, we'll check back in, uh, not next week, but the week after. So first thing I finished this week last two weeks is called December 25th. It is a Shannon Christine design. And um, here's one of those smalls I was talking about. For Mania, I did a Mega and a Mini Mania. And um, a few weeks ago, as I was finishing up different things, I had a big finish that was coming uh, to completion, which you will see today. And I had stated at the time, wouldn't it be fun to have a big finish and a mini finish, a mega finish and a mini finish on the same week. And luckily I was able to get that accomplished. So as I said before, this is December 25th from Shannon Christine Designs. She had offered uh, some ornament, um, like an ornament club on her Facebook group um, that was five months long. You got basically three ornaments a month um, and I did participate in that. So this is one of those ornaments. And uh, I love little Rudolph right down here. He's so cute with his little nose. Um, I do wanna show you guys though, I did do something a bit different. After I stitched all this bottom, this is supposed to have the same up here on the top. Let me show you kind of the digital rendering. That's what it's supposed to be like, and that, this is what I ended up with. After I stitched that whole bottom, there was no way I was stitching that top. No way I was doing that. I had had enough of that lovely metallic at the bottom. So I just didn't do it. And you know what? It's okay. I am generally one who likes to stick with the plan and stick with the pattern and in this case I did not and it is okay to do that it is okay to make a change it is okay to take something away you don't like it's okay to add something you feel that's needed or make a change in a color so um, you're not gonna see that very often from me but in this particular case I did this is stitched I may have told you but if I haven't this is stitched on a 28 count it's just a mushroom piece that I had in my stash from years ago. I had cut them years ago to make ornaments and never got around to doing them, and those particular ornaments, and I thought they were perfect with these colors. So that's what I am using. So, mini finish. Then I had my mega finish. And if you guys are following me on Instagram, you've already seen this. Um, and, and if you've been paying any attention at all the last few weeks, you've seen it rolling towards a finish. But I did get it done within about maybe two days of the last video, I was able to get this completed. This is Mini Santa Nutcracker from Artisy. And um, I just love him, guys. He is su just super. Um, he is stitched on an 18 count easy count fabric. I have stitched him two over one. And I was really happy with the coverage I got on those dark, the dark reds and the dark blues. So super, super happy with that. This 
if you guys have been with me since the beginning of the year, I had three projects that were going to be my main focus for the year. This was one of the three and the last of the three to be completed. So I have gotten all three of those main focus pieces um, done. So I may go back and figure out for the rest of the year, what are my main focuses gonna be? What are my goals gonna be? Because I've accomplished a lot of those. I still have pieces I haven't touched yet. So it may just be that I add in, you know, 2,000, 3,000 stitches in all those other projects that I haven't even touched yet this year. That, that may be a great goal. So, but I'll work on that here over the next few weeks and figure out what I want to do. The other thing I debated about going ahead and washing him and bringing him to you washed, prepped, ready to go. And the more I thought about it, first of all, I was really busy at the time. <laughs> I had lots of stuff going. Could have made time, but wasn't sure I really wanted to because I wasn't sure how long this was going to take for these lines to come out. I've never finished one on this gridded fabric and actually removed the lines yet. I'm trusting that the lines are gonna come out. It's not that I haven't been able to get lines out. It's, I've never completed one yet. So this will be my first one. And then I thought about it and I thought, I'm gonna bring it to you like this. I'm gonna let you see it as I see it. And then I'm gonna take it and in this next week or so, when I have time, uh, probably two weeks, um, I'm going to wash it and I'm gonna video what is required to get these lines out. So that anybody else who happens to be working on this fabric or is concerned about using this fabric will have a good guide on um, hopefully how to get these lines out. So I'm excited about that. So uh, hang tight. It'll be probably a couple weeks before um, that happens because we are getting ready to go on vacation and I will be gone next week. Um, but when I come back, we get settled in. That will be one of my uh, things that I definitely work on. So also uh, the mini Santa Nutcracker, for those of you who have been following along, that in Full Coverage Fanatics did not quite complete one of the bookshelf challenges for May. Um, I still had about 500 stitches left. So once I completed that, I grabbed another project and started on the 500. Of course, as soon as I got rolling on that project, once you get 500 stitches in on a project, on a full coverage project, you're like, well, let's just keep going because I'm, I'm rolling now. And so I went ahead and used this next project also for the next bookshelf challenge. And I've not quite completed it yet. I think, uh, I think it's 3,400 and I think I meant like 2,600. So um, I'm going to take this with me on vacation. So... This will get continued work um, in the hopes that we can get this done um, for the May challenge. What am I talking about? I'm talking about my Heaven and Earth Designs trimming, uh, trimming the Tree. This is artwork um, by Randall Spangler, of course, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. Let me bring it in so you can get a good look at what we're working on currently. You guys know I started this last uh, July for Christmas in July and have worked on it very little. Uh, really just got a good start. Um, and I'm working right here in this corner. So let me show you where I'm at. Um, again, about 2,600, 2,700 stitches into this. I added a lot more greens, which you're not gonna see. Sorry, I'm pulling that thread that's still attached because I didn't get it all stitched in. Um, a lot more greens throughout the whole thing. Um, and then I'd had enough greens. So like, you know, all this lighter green in here all got added, you know, it all got added down in here. And so there's a lot more greens, you know, to give you that gorgeous, real tree feel. So there's gonna be a lot more greens happen in here, but I decided to jump in and try and get as much of the uh, Christmas bulb done as possible. So, and I'm still working on there. I still got a few, you know, you can see I still got a few little stitches to get done, um, but we're gonna keep working on that and watch it progress. I'm super, super excited because if you look here, we're, we're right here and you can start to see his ear 
his ear and his eye are right here. So, um, going to keep working, going to keep, keep progressing. And I think the other thing I think I can just now start to see is here is the, uh, ornament hanger. I think this is the top of the ornament. So this is all going to be ornament here and here is going to be my ornament hanger. So super excited to, uh, start to see some of those details come into view. So, um, this is being stitched on 20 count easy grid fabric and I'm stitching it one over one. And you can see up close, you know, there's a little bit of uh, see-through coming through, but when you get back here, it's totally perfect. So um, I'm enjoying this uh, on 20 count. It's just big enough. I almost don't even need my glasses um, to work on, but I will be taking this, like I said, on vacation with me. Um, and so it should get some more significant work done on it. So those were the three uh, projects that I got stitched on this week. The only other thing that I have to share with you is I got a little bit of haul that came in the mail. I did get my color and cotton uh, fabric of the month from Crazy Annie Stitching. And it is aged paper. I get a 32 count Lugana, uh, pretty good sized piece. I think it's a fat half, um, cause there's two pieces of it here. You can see I've got it just folded over, but this is beautiful. It, in the picture, it's coming out much pinker, um, than it is in real life. And in real life, it's much topier, but there is an undertone of, uh, pink to it. So it'll be a lovely neutral, um, for a project down the road. So I was super happy to get that. And that is, I have picked the neutral uh, palette um, from Color and Cotton this year. I think they had a neutral and a color and I get the neutral because that's, I, I get a lot of colors from my other Fabric of the Month clubs. And so I wanted to have the neutral to help balance that out. So guys, that's it. Like I told you, really short this week, down and dirty, gonna get the, the stitching shown. And then I need to get to finish packing and get ready to head out of here. Um, everybody enjoy your week. There will not be a video again this, this coming Friday. I apologize about that. But then I'm here the rest of the summer. So um, we are going uh, to make up for it uh, in June and July. So everybody have a great week. Have a wonderful uh, Memorial Day. Everybody please stay safe. Be careful um, if you're with your family, just um, not even about COVID. Just, just be careful if you're partying or having a fun time or if you're at the swimming pool. Everybody be safe um, and stay healthy. And um, we'll see you in a couple weeks. And don't forget to keep stitching those big things.